What's up guys, Sam Matt back with another review. This is the first review of 2019. I'm a little behind on doing reviews because I got sick and I'm still not currently sick, but I gotta get started on my reviews and this is something that I'm really excited to have. I got this from BigBadToyStore.com. If you guys wanna check out Big Bad Toy Store, make sure you guys use my link in the description below. We're continuing the Kotobukiya Artifacts 1992 based off of the X-Men 1992 animated series. We're looking at the Professor Xavier 110 scale pre-painted model kit. So I've already reviewed the Jubilee and the Wolverine, the Cyclops and the Beast. Front of the packaging has that really cool artwork, has the X-Men, kind of like I have the comics right here on the top left, has images of Professor X on the right. Again, this is made by Kota Bukia. So we turn this to the side, there's an uh, image of Xavier. It says, you could be X-Men. And then right here on the back, again, it has that vintage Toy Biz uh, packaging on the back. You have all the other X-Men right here. Bishop and Storm, I think, are gonna be the next one. And then I believe Gambit and Rogue, and then Phoenix. So I think it's gonna be in that order. Um, you have Professor X right over here, and then you have instructions on how to put the set together. So I do recommend you guys read the instructions because there is some assembly required. So that's the back of the packaging right over here. Right there on the side, there is uh, you know same kind of image now. Again, this is the first, I guess you can say this is pretty much the first Xavier that we've gotten uh, that's gonna fit like your Marvel Legends scale because we're getting a, a Build-A-Figure Professor Xavier sometime later this year and he's gonna come in this style. So the other Marvel Legends figure that we've gotten before is the one from the Galactus Wave, which wasn't that great of an action figure. I mean, it is dated, but to have one like this, it's gonna be, we're gonna see which is better. I mean, obviously that Marvel Legend one's not out yet, so we're gonna see if this one will be good enough to fit your seven inch, seven inch scales for now until we get the other one that we can do a comparison and see which one is the better of the two. I am yapping way too much. Let's go ahead and take out Professor X out of the package. So we're gonna look at some of the accessories that he does come with. And again, this does come with instructions, so I do recommend you guys read this. So he comes with a clear base. And this is pretty awesome because this is where you're gonna put the hover chair on to give him that floating effect. Now, on the promo images, it was a black base. So I'm really glad they went with a clear base. So that's really cool because it'll it'll hide the, it'll give it the illusion that it's actually floating. So this, this actually just pegs in to the base right over here and you have the circular base which has an X on there. So it's a nice little touch so you get that and you just plug that in right there. You also get Professor Xavier's blanket. So this pretty much just fits on top of the figure. I'll show you how that looks in a second, but you do get his blanket. And then obviously the big thing about this is his hover chair. Now this is such a beautiful piece. Now there is a little bit of assembly required for this. All you have to do is snap the back piece to the front piece. So, but it's really easy, you just snap it into place and it's gonna stay in there. Uh, but looking at the, the chair itself, so we'll take a close look. Here is the back right over here so you guys can see a little bit of a detailed look on how the chair looks. Looks really good. And then you have the side right over here. You can see the black lining, a little bit of a sculpting there on the side. And then you have the front right here. The front almost kind of looks like a futuristic car, to be honest with you. These kind of look like the headlights right over here. But there is the front and then you have the chair. So it's a blue chair. And then there is a peg right over here, which you're gonna peg Xavier in. And then there's the grooves for his legs in there as well. It's actually sculpted in there. And then right here on the bottom, there is the hole that you're gonna peg the uh, base in right here. We'll get into that in a second. But the chair itself looks cool. I think it would have been awesome if this had some kind of like a light up feature. But yeah, so there is Xavier's chair. So next up is Professor Xavier. Now there is a little bit of assembly required for Professor X. You just gotta put the arms into place and then you gotta pop in his head sculpt. Now one thing I wish they would have included this is in this is a alternate head sculpt with Cerebro. I think that would have been a really nice touch. I think that's something that an, an Xavier figure does need. Still cool nonetheless. He's got a pointing finger right here so he's obviously pointing to somebody and then he has his right hand on top of his head. He's probably using some kind of a, uh, his uh, telekinetic or telekinesis powers or he's reading someone's mind. So I do like the pose that he's in. And as for the head sculpt, 
he does look great. He does look like he's fresh out of the animated series. Even the eyebrows, they got the eyebrows down. The uh, facial expression is pretty good. And then you have his green suit. So he's got his, his blue handkerchief right there in the pocket, the blue and black tie, the white undershirt, and he has his uh, green coat and green pants. So you can see all the sculpting, you know, in the wrinkles, the pockets. So did a great job in that. Now he's obviously missing most of his legs, but it's not a big issue because you're gonna be displaying this guy in his hover chair anyways. Um, again, this is a kind of like a statue, so he's not gonna have any kind of articulation. Now he does have a <laughs> he does have a peg hole in the butt area for butthole pleasures. But he does have a peg hole in the butt right over here, and that's what you're gonna peg onto the hover chair. So we'll get into that right now. So just like I said, he's got a peg right there in the chair, and then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna peg Xavier right into the uh, the peg right there on the chair. And it's gonna, you're gonna have to force it in there because it doesn't sit that great. So we'll put a little bit of pressure on Xavier's butt. And I think he's on pretty good. It's gonna, it is a little loose on mine. Um, I'm not sure if you guys will be able to peg him all the way down, but mine does fit a little loose. And then we can add the, the blanket over his legs. And there you go. So there is Xavier inside of his chair and you can see the blanket is sitting in a place. But like I said, I, I, he doesn't sit perfectly all the way down on the peg but it's, it's perfect enough to where he can stay in place. But if I were to like wiggle this around or something, he, he probably would, would fall out of the chair. But I mean, this looks amazing. So we'll add the last touch. We will add him onto the clear base right here to give him that floating effect. And there you go. We have Professor Xavier sitting on his yellow little, kind of like his, his little hover chair that was seen in the animated series and a lot of the comics as well. Um, again, this is something that I think a lot of collectors have been wanting for quite a long time is a Professor Xavier in this style. So let's go ahead and bring out the rest of the X-Men 92 artifacts figures that they've already released. All right, guys, so here is the team so far. So again, we have Wolverine, we have Beast, Cyclops, and Jubilee. They look great together. I cannot wait till we can complete the team. Now, like I said, so next set that should be coming out this month is gonna be Storm and Bishop, followed by Rogue and Gambit, which I'm super excited for. And then a Phoenix Jean Grey. I'm not sure if we're gonna get a regular green Jean Grey down the line. I'm hoping we do. And I'm hoping we get other characters too, because that's that as far as the announcement goes for 92 X-Men, that's all we're getting. So there's still no announcement of a 92, just a regular Jean Grey. I would like to see a morph. I would still, you know, there's I want to see a cable. I would love to see an angel or archangel from the animated series. There's so many different characters that Kotobukiya can still give us. And they haven't even touched on the villains yet. There's so many villains that we can get and they need to give us some interchangeable parts. Because as for Beast, Cyclops, Wolverine, and Jubilee, we didn't get any bases. And I think, you know, instead of giving this the bases, because the figures stand perfectly fine on their own, they should have given us some interchangeable head sculpts. Like we could have gotten an unmasked Ju uh, Wolverine. We could have gotten a Jubilee with the head sculpt with the glasses down. Same with Cyclops. We could have gotten one in unmasked Cyclops and then, you know, a different pose of Beast. Beast did come with glasses though, so that was really cool. But other than that, I think it's really nice. This is such a fantastic set. And these will fit your Marvel Legends seven inch scale. So if you wanna get this Xavier to put with your Marvel Legends figure, this is definitely gonna work. I mean, the price on this was $69.99, so it's not a bad price. I think the Xavier that's gonna be coming out for Marvel Legends will probably be around the $35 to $40. So it's probably gonna be, I mean, it's gonna be a cheaper option, but I think honestly right now, this is the best Xavier you're gonna get until we get the Legends one. Then we'll do a comparison and see which one will be the better Professor X. Now, again, hopefully down the line, we'll get more of these. They did have a display at Comic-Con or maybe it was Toy Fair and they had like this really awesome diorama with the Sentinel. I don't think that's ever gonna be released, but a cool, I mean, a Sentinel and Kota Bukia could, like a 1-6 scale would be so awesome. I'm super hyped. I mean, I'm so happy that I'm finally gonna get one of the, my favorite cartoons of all time in action figure form and like this this scale especially the 1992 x-men animated series they're already doing the batman animated series which is awesome so it's awesome that we're getting the x-men so you guys in the comments below let me know 
Is this going to be a pickup or is it a pass? Thumbs up the video, guys. Subscribe if you, if you guys haven't. And we'll see you soon for more reviews. Sorry if my voice was a little off because I am a little sick. So thank you for watching, guys. We'll see you soon. Oh, come back anytime. Bring your friends.